What's going on? We are back. It has been a while since I have put out a video. It's been super busy doing some fun, uh, just a lot of life going on. I went up to the Northwest Angle. We took a 40 mile snowmobile ride to get up there. It was 30 below with a negative 49 wind chill. Then I went up to the Gunflint Trail on a lake trout trip. I had a few guide trips mixed in there, but we are back today chasing something that I don't normally chase. We're kind of at a little backcountry lake here, something I've never been to, but I've heard that it has some big bluegills. I don't often chase bluegills, but the walleye season is closed. Might be a shot in the dark, but I figured we'd come give it a shot, see what we could find. I have the day off of school. It's gonna be gorgeous out, um, so it's just gonna be an awesome day. Being out on the ice, checking some things out. So we'll see. Um, I forgot my tripod today, so definitely gonna be kind of mixing it up trying to find some different angles how to set up the camera so it might be interesting but should be fun see you out on the lake all right well we are out here the walk was awesome because there's literally no snow the plan is to pop a bunch of holes use the live scope scout a bunch of different areas see if we can see any fish see if we can get on them i'm guessing they're going to be pretty spooky this time of year especially with no snow on the ice we're going to be trying a little bit of some of that basin stuff to see if there's any out cruising the basins um, try a little bit of some shallow flats to see if there's any weeds up on top see if they're cruising any of those and then also those steep breaks where they can have access to both of those really easy so we're going to try a lot of different things so i'm going to start drilling some holes see what we can find Okay, I first just want to even see what we're working with down there. So I'm going to drop the camera down here. See what we're seeing. If we're seeing weeds, if we're seeing mud. So a little bit of mud down there. Maybe some weeds that have died. So maybe we'll see a few weeds shallower. We'll pop the live scope in here, see if we can see what else we're dealing with the live scope. So you can see as we pan around, there's a school off there around 25 to 40, 45 feet. Um, they're kind of tight to bottom. Uh, we're in that 15 foot range, a little bit of mud down there. Not a lot of things holding these fish, so I'm assuming they're gonna be moving around a little bit. Um, we're gonna go drill a hole over there and see if we can get on top of these things. Interested. Still interested. Come on. There we go. Finally time to see what these are. It's a gill, not the big ones we're looking for. There you go. It is a gill. Like I said, not the big ones we're looking for, but we are on the right species and you can definitely see there might be a few bigger ones down there. Yeah, jeez, wow, that was totally a pike. Came in and just chomped something. Yeah, no wonder these things aren't wanting to eat. They're worried about getting eaten themselves. Wow, that was cool to see though. Thing just came in and just chomped. There we go. Oh, I have a pike chasing it. Did you see that pike chasing it up? <laughs> Decent one. Not anything too big, but nice. Oh man, here I am being an idiot on my phone. And we have another one. Again, not the big ones that we're looking for, but definitely a start. Glad some things are finally starting to eat a little bit. That one I got lucky that I caught. I was sitting there texting someone and sure enough, pull up and there's something there. They seem like they've almost wanted it dead sticked a little more. Oh, something coming up maybe. A whole slew of them down there. See if we can get one to bite. There have definitely been a couple that you can see on the live scope that seem a little bit bigger. Those are the ones that we're after. These guys that are looking right now aren't quite it. There we go. Again, not very big, even smaller. Even a little bit smaller. Not what we're after. Definitely a few down there though. They keep kind of hanging around. You can see there's a little bit of murkiness to this water. 
you know, there's a stream or some, some sort of running water that I can hear coming in. There's a little bit of open water over there actually. So I think what's happening is that water's coming in and that is much more oxygenated than any of the other, any of the other water around. So I think they're kind of hanging out. There's a couple holes that I could tell out deeper that were um, much less murky. Uh, they got to be kind of your typical clear what I've been seeing out here. So it kind of seems like they're hanging out right on the edge of this, maybe even right in it, but definitely something that's been holding them. Must be some just pike cruising through. That's what's spooking. Spooking these fish, kind of keeping them moving, or these pike that are cruising through that you can see right there. That one bluegill that I caught, you can see that pike come up and chase, and every once in a while, you'll see this school kind of swim away, and then you'll see a couple of these bigger fish, some of these pike cruising through. Let's see if we can see where they ended up. Some moved out that way, not too terribly far away. Most of them moved behind us, so I think that's the direction we're gonna go. You see a couple of those, either there's a couple sitting right next to each other and making a bigger mark, or there's a few that are maybe a little bit bigger, maybe more the size that we're looking for. There's kind of all around it, just staring. There we go. That wind's pushing my line a little bit, so it's been tough to tell if that's a little more what we're looking for right there. That is definitely more of the size that we are looking for right there. I'll throw that on the bump board quick, just to get an official. That one is just a hair over 10. So a nicer gill, that's for sure. I think it's just thick too, you can see that. We'll get that guy back down. Like I said, I was trying to text. Sometimes, you know, they'll do that up bite where you can see your line almost go slack when they come up and bite it and keep going up with it. But I've been having a tough time detecting anything like that because that wind's pushing my line. It is way too hot. Hope this shirt doesn't make my fat look fat. There's some fish. Drop right down into them before they spook, hopefully. Ooh, that one. There we go. Couldn't hardly see that one. That's another hefty one. That is what we are after right there. Sweet. Just a hefty, hefty gill. Man, just out in a t-shirt. Doesn't get much better than that. Another one about 10 and a quarter. I'll give you one more look at that guy. Sweet. These things are just thick too. You can see how plump that is. Get that guy back down right away. Yeah, a little, I had a little tough time seeing that. There's always that dead zone in the transducer. Um, any of this live technology, whether it's Lurlance or Garmin, just like in like your ultrasound, there's always a little bit of that dead zone where these beams are crossing. So that one specifically, that fish, I had a tough time seeing right away because it was kind of in that dead zone. I knew it was coming up, but I couldn't quite see it um, as well as I would have liked. But we're, looks like that school has moved. So we're gonna keep trying to get on them. Whiff. Come on. I hope they didn't get my bait. Coming back. Feels decent again. Nope, not decent. A little bit more charged up though. Whoa, whoa, little guy. Back on top of some, finally. Let's see if we'll get any bite. There you go. Doesn't feel as big. There we go. Again, like I said, not as big as those other ones. Probably about that nine inch range. Man, we've just been having to slowly, slowly pick away at these things. There's 
go. Whoa. Not a giant, but another nice fish right there. There we go. Man, it's been a while. Another good one. Another just chunky, chunky gill right there. So kind of what I'm doing with my live scope, I'm actually keeping it in forward view the whole time and I'll just zoom in and out um, so I can easily go find a school of fish because I'm having to move around a lot. Sometimes I can sit on a school for a little while, but most often um, it's where I can maybe catch one or have a bunch come and look, but don't actually catch any. When the fish move through, then I'll zoom out, scan around, try to find the biggest school that I can and go and get on them or even a little bit out in front of them so I can kind of maximize the time that I'm around them. These fish have still been pretty spooky, so I'm not able to get on them as long as I would like. I'm having to move around a lot. And then if I do get on a school, then I'll zoom out so I can see everything in a little bit more expanded way. And so that way you guys can see as well on the live scope, kind of what I'm seeing. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to see the fish, see them coming through. That one looks like a good one. Oh, come on. That's a good fish. Come on. Oh man, that's a big one. Looks good. There we go. That wasn't the one I think I saw first. This one came in from another side. Not a big one. Not a big one. I need to bump up. There we go. Not the one we're looking for, but glad we're back on the board. Oh, that one might get eaten by a pike. <laughs> Drop that one back down and see that pike chasing right after it. There we go. This one feels like a little bit better one. Eh, not much. Still nice fish, but not quite what we're looking for. One more quick look. Where I ended up finding these fish was actually a little bit different than what I expected. Where I ended up finding some fish that were actually willing to bite was actually kind of what I would describe as this intermediate basin. It had two deeper basins on each side that were around that 20 to 30 foot range. But I found these fish kind of cruising the same depth that I saw them over the basins in that 15 foot range. But they were about one to two feet off bottom. And I found them in that 16 to 17 foot in that, like I said, intermediate type flat. It was almost like a saddle in between these two deeper basins. There was some fresh water that was bringing in, probably some nutrients, some oxygen, definitely made the water a little more murky and I really noticed that those fish were hanging right around there. Well, that is going to be a wrap. The evening bite was not what I had hoped. I gotta get home now. Um, I was still seeing some fish, they're still cruising. They are just not very active. Saw a lot of fish today and I know there's good quality in here. So who knows, someday maybe I'll get back, see if I can get some more of those big bluegills. But it was fun to get back out, enjoy the little bit of ice that we have left. Um, I did go and pick up the boat the other day, getting that geared up, ready for the year. Um, the rainy river is starting to open, so hopefully I'll be able to get up there um, within the next few weeks here. But until then, maybe trying a little bit more burbot action before the year ends. Otherwise, open water's right around the corner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.